excellent shielding. That seemed incredibly painful. Anybody want to switch powers? What could be better than superheroes? Superhero pet sidekicks, obviously. In a world where DC and Marvel continue to fight for dominance, DC pulled League of Super Pets out of its back pocket and brought something brand new to the table. But how much of the original comics did DC have to change in order to bring to life League of Super Pets? Number 1. He's a boy in the comics. In DC League of Super Pets, we get to see Merton, a timid female turtle who's voiced by a Russian doll and orange is the new black star Natasha Lyonne. Life like a box of timelines. You feel me? But in the original comics, we first see Merton in Funny Stuff Volume 1. One major difference? Comic Merton is a male turtle who gets experimented on to test how superpowers and super honesty mesh together. Number 2. No super suit in sight. Besides not being a male, Merton in DC League of Super Pets is a little… bare. In the comics, Merton wears a suit with lightning bolts on it and boots and a helmet to match, in order to represent his owner. Merton in the film wears nothing but her shell and occasionally a pair of glasses to correct her vision. Their powers also work a little differently in the two realms. In the comics, Merton loses their shell completely when putting on the speed, but in the film, the shell is still very much attached to her. Where the heck am I? Number 3. Merton wasn't only known as Merton. Continuing on with everyone's favorite speedy turtle, there's another pretty distinctive difference. In the comics, superhero Merton would use the alias Terrific What's It, but in DC League of Super Pets, that alias is never introduced. And can we blame the creators? The alias isn't exactly terrific. Number 4. He has a major personality change. When you flip through the DC comics, you'll meet Chip, a rebel fighter hero. But in this film, the rebel hero is nowhere to be found. Instead, we have a weary squirrel sidekick who can't quite figure out how to handle his newfound electrical powers. Great, I'm the only one who didn't get any super Chip also looks a little different in the films. Much like Merton, he's a little bare. His comic counterpart wears a green super jumpsuit and white gloves when he's in hero mode. Number 5. Their names are different. It's not a huge change, but Chip in the film has one other difference compared to his character in the comic, the spelling of his name. In the film, the creators went for the classic spelling Chip, but in the comics his name was spelled as Chip with an apostrophe and no I. There's been no official reason behind the name change, but maybe it was because they just wanted to simplify it. <laughs> Number 6. She's an original character. DC League of Super Pets didn't just stray away from how their characters looked, it also created brand new original characters to add to the storyline. Characters like PB, a very overly happy pig who takes pride in letting her emotions flow freely. I guess you could say she wears her heart on her sleeve. As for her superpower, she has the ability to grow in size and become as tall as a skyscraper. Oh, and she also loves Wonder Woman. The Mighty Oink. Number 7. Another original character. Like PB, Lulu is also a new original character to the DC Universe. But unlike PB, she's the antagonist to the Super Pets. She's a guinea pig who was a lab experiment. Check out her ear tag which resulted in her getting telekinetic powers and the capability to control a whole team of guinea pigs to do her bidding. To top it all off, she wears kryptonite around her neck, Superman's greatest weakness. Oh, and she also has a really cool cape. Aww, aren't you a little ray of sunshine? Number 8. Is stripped of his powers. Crypto, as we all know, belongs to Superman and is probably the strongest and most experienced super pet of them all. My dog's the best. In fact, in the comics, a lot of the plot relies on the super dog's powers, which are the same as his owner's, to save the day. Wake up, buddy. It is walk o'clock. But in League of Super Pets, Crypto is stripped of his powers and has to rely on a band of misfit pets who have accidentally been given powers to succeed. Number 9. They've never been seen in this light. This is the first time that DC has decided to take its super pets and introduce them to mainstream media. We wouldn't be surprised if you had never heard about them until this film. What is new with you, fellow normal dog? The comics never really made it big and were left for the most dedicated of DC fans to uncover. With being introduced to a new medium, who knows how far the super pets could go. I should be a lot more dead right now, right? Number 10. He dresses a little differently. While Crypto is Superman's sidekick, Ace is Batman's. However, Ace looks a little different in the film than he does in the comics. In the comic, Ace wears a mask and cape that resembles Batman's look. However, in the film they make it so the animation of Ace's ears resembles the ears on Batman's mask, instead of giving him the entire regalia. Sorry, you were saying something? Number 11. Backstories have been altered. 
In the comics, a lot, if not most, of these pets have terrifying and traumatic backstories that include horrid lab testing and tragic events. But in the DC League of Super Pets, these pets get their powers after an explosion where they were in the right place at the right time. Except Crypto, of course. What's going on? This avoids all those dark backstories, probably because they needed to keep the film family friendly. Number 12. Due to their erased backstories, piggybacking off of our last point, because their backstories have been erased and replaced with a more PG story, there's something else completely different. None of these pets besides Crypto actually belong to their superhero counterparts yet. Have you noticed any other differences between DC League of Super Pets and the original comics? How do you think this film can impact that world of DC going forward? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you liked this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching The Things Animated.